Today we are talking about red versus blue, and no, we are not talking politics. We are talking light therapy. Red light therapy and blue light therapy, what it can do for your health and how it could be potentially beneficial. So let's start with red light therapy, which is actually lower in energy than the blue light therapy, if you'll see from this spectrum here. So red light therapy has been around a lot longer, has more research behind it. There's been books written on it. You can find those online. Um, and in terms of the studies, the two primary areas where it has been shown to be potentially beneficial, one is uh, pain. And so osteoarthritis, um, including this study here that has about 50 people on their knee osteoarthritis, and it showed that there was a reduction in pain with red light therapy. The second area is for skins. So this could include reducing wrinkles, anti-aging, burns, and whatnot, and even a little bit of acne. So there could be potential benefits with that. But speaking of acne, we turn our uh, attention now to blue light therapy. So what about blue light? Well, blue light is next to violet, which is near ultraviolet or UV rays. And UV rays can kill bacteria and microbes. And guess what? Blue light can do that too, including the bacteria associated with acne. And pretty cool, recently a 14-year-old girl won um, an award for inventing these uh, headphones that can actually kill bacteria and decrease the chances of having a middle ear infection. So very, very neat. There's a little bit less evidence on blue light with pain. Now, two cautions with blue light. One is it can potentially contribute to aging, um, but the studies have mostly been done in flies, and obviously flies and humans are very different. And the second thing is blue light, especially if you're watching too much blue light from screens, it can disrupt your sleep pattern. Hence, there's these blue light blocking glasses and whatnot. So anyways, blue light, red light, both have benefits, especially for the skin, and they can be used synergistically together. It's good to know about these tools because that can only increase your toolbox whenever you need um, alternative therapies.